Welcome back. We are here looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, July 15, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you want to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos. And we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. So two things uh, happened today that were very important. US dollar depreciated and the US Treasury bonds also depreciated significantly. And that this, of course, had the major effects on the, on the the commodities and also stock market and so on and of course it's u.s treasury as well so this could be a minor pullback as we did have a massive rally yesterday if you look at the macd is becoming bearish the classic is still bullish and the rsi is bearish but we have found support at the 20 exponential so we are quite far off the 20 exponential is down here at 92.03 so we could see another day where this basically falls and then we rally to the upside. So we did break above the 300 moving average. If we had, and we were also very overstretched here, we were at basically at the top of the bullish band. So it wasn't strange that we pulled back. So um, if, if we drop below the 20 exponential, then we could go to the 200 moving average and the 50. But at this point, 20 exponential has been fairly reliable. And uh, we'll mo if we basically have a closing, green closing above the 300 moving average, then it's very likely that we'll go and test these previous highs here at the 93.45. So that, of course, will have major implications for it, especially for the gold market, which was really bullish today, mainly to the fact that the US dollar depreciated and the US and, and Treasury bond also uh, fell today. So let's look at oil, which was absolutely hammered today. So we dropped all the way down to roughly $71.63 a barrel and uh, kind of looks like we are going to drop even further. So 70 should be a target here. The 50 moving average is also a target here at the 69. If you look at technical indicators, we can see they are very bearish indeed. So it's not until we basically break below the 50 moving average that uh, I would expect this to go significantly lower. You can see that 50 moving average has been major support. We have eventually basically broken down below that, but have rallied uh, uh, straight away. So we are technically still in uptrend and uh, we have been for quite some time. It was also in the long term, very overstretched. We can see that we're still at 70 here in, uh, in the weekly chart for oil. And we have only scratched the surface. This could drop all the way down to the middle of the bullish band in the, the weekly chart and that basically means that we'll go and retest these previous lows from uh, basically the beginning of march again and that will be the middle of the bullish band which is at 66.5 so we could see this drop significantly further um due to the fact that we are basically oversold in the overbought in the weekly chart and it looks like we are going to have a crossing here of the, 20, of the MACD in the weekly chart as well. So that is another good sign. And uh, usually that has major uh, uh, consequences. We can see the crossing here and we basically fell significantly. We see another crossing here and also fell significantly. And also here we fell all the way down towards $7. Um, became actually minus in the market. I don't really know why it doesn't show up here, but it became minus 30, 38 if I remember correctly the contract so uh, we could see a major drop towards the middle of the bullish band but that is still be, be seen we have to take out these uh, the lows from from basically last week so let's look at natural gas so natural gas is heading towards the support down here at the 20 exponential at the 3.54 if we break below that then we could see a major drop towards uh, the 50 moving average at uh, 3.26 and then probably the 200 moving average it looks like uh, momentum is running out at this point um, whether or not we break down from here that is too early to see to say uh, but otherwise uh, technical indicators have all across the signal line and are very bearish indeed we have eventually seen this pullback uh, quite substantially but uh, as long as weather conditions are very warm and demand is very high, then this could continue higher. But uh, if it starts going the wrong way, this could absolutely tumble. Because usually, in this time of year, 
we see a decline in this market, not a rise. This is usually what you see in October, November, December, similar to this, what we saw here in October, November. So let's look at copper. So copper continues to drop. We are finding resistant yet again at the 20 exponential. So a drop towards the bottom of the bullish band could be expected at the 4.15 break below this previous level here of 4.09. Then we can drop all the way down to four and then to 200 moving average. And that's probably as far as we will go in this market. A drop below towards uh, four and that is probably where the 200 moving average also will meet up and then that will bounce from there. Technical indicators, MACD is still uh, bullish, but in negative territory, stochastic is bearish, and the RSI is bearish as well. There's still a lot of room to the downside. So let's look at gold. So gold really took off today. And as I mentioned, US Treasury have fallen and also US dollar is depreciating. That is uh, what probably caused this major rally day up roughly 1%. Right at the 200 moving average, we have the 300 and the 50 moving average right above. But I don't really think that we are going to go significantly higher in this market. If we look at the Fibonacci retracements, you can see that we have the 50 right here at 1832. And then we also have these two moving averages right there. And then we have the 61.8 just above at 1852. So if we get through here, which I kind of doubt, then I definitely don't think that we'll get through 1850. If we do, then we are going to the very highest here up at 1900 and then probably also to 2000, 2100. If we roll lower from here, then we are mostly going to test these previous lows again and also the, also the double bottom here. But it kind of depends on the US dollar if it continues to depreciate or uh, but whether or not it will uh, depreciate. So if that turns around, it crosses above the 300 moving average, the US dollar index, then this could tumble like a rock. Technical indicators otherwise are very bullish for this market. So let's look at silver. So silver did rally up towards the top of the bullish band at the $26.42. Uh, and uh, at this current stage, it... Uh, pull back and is right underneath the 20 exponential. So we're just bouncing in between the 20 and the 200 moving average. And it's not until we break below here or break above the 50 that uh, this really becomes interesting. So this is just going back and forward at this current stage. MACD is bullish, stochastic is bullish and the RSI is bullish as well. So momentum is to the upside according to these indicators, but still we're not really going anywhere at this point. So let's get platinum. So platinum is reaching towards the 50 moving average. We're trading at 1130 at this current stage. Technical units are very bullish. And so we have broken above, broken above the 20 exponential and uh, we're heading towards the 50. So last time we tested the 50, we broke down, broke down and so on. So this could be an area where this turns around to break above here, then 1200 uh, will most likely come into play. So let's look at pallium. So pallium is still struggling at the uh, 50 moving average. We're most likely going to have a crossing here at the 20 and the 50, which should be a bullish shine. However, these technical indicators are either flat or turning around. Still, it's still bullish, but it is turning around. MACD is flat, the stochastic is flat, and the RSI is flat as well. So if we break below the 50 moving average and the 20, then we could head back towards the 200 moving average. Otherwise, a rally from here will mostly target uh, uh, 3,000. Uh, 3, so let's look at aluminium. So aluminium is, uh, well, didn't really do anything today. We did have a really nice day yesterday and then we pulled back a little bit today. MACD is flat, stochastic is bullish and RSI is flat as well. So if we fall, fall from here, then the 50 and the 20 exponential should offer support break below here then that opens the door back to these previous lows at 23.35 break above the previous highs yesterday then we are going to target 25.63 so let's look at nickel 
So nickel uh, fell today, tried to take out the previous highs from yesterday and then fell. And that kind of gives an indication that we're, this is going to drop towards the 20 exponential and the 50 moving average. We're still in a really nice uptrend. And the closer that we get to the 50 moving average, basically the uh, probably the better buy in this will. If you break below the 50, then the 200 moving average comes into play in the bottom of the plunge band, roughly down here at uh, 17,230. Technical indicators, they are MACD is still bullish, but it's turning around. Stochastic is bearish and the RSI is bearish as well. So let's look at sugar. So sugar really fell off a cliff today. We are having a crossing here of the 20 exponential and the 50. That should be bearish uh, for this market. MACD is very bearish, stochastic is bearish, and so is the RSI, with a little, a lot of room to the downside. So the, we could see this continue falling. There is no pullback at the end of the US session, which is a very negative sign. So next target will most likely be 0 0.1614 and the 200 moving average at roughly 0 0.1588. So let's go cotton. So cotton really took off today, a massive rally to the upside. We are trading at 0 0.9030, and uh, there is also no pullback at the end of the session, which is a really strong uh, sign. Uh, we are getting fairly overstretched, also uh, outside of the bullish band, and also uh, very high in the RSI. However, technical indicators are very bullish, so pullback will mostly be bought into, especially if we go all the way down to the middle of the bullish band, then we'll be highly bought into. So let's look at Kokoa. So Kokoa, um, yes, does what it usually does. It rallies and then it breaks down, then it breaks down and it rallies. But the overall picture for this market is that it is still in a downtrend. And we have been in this downtrend for quite some time. You can see it right here. So Technically, we are in a downtrend. We are in the upper parts of uh, this downtrend. So we could see this tumble all the way down to the very bottom here. First, take out these previous lows here at 22.51, and then all the way down towards the lows from last year, which was down here at roughly 20.90.91. So that is kind of what it looks like it's going to happen in the market. We could rally further, but then the drop will be even larger so let's look at wheat so wheat market really took off today uh, we broke above the 20 exponential and we kind of been before we did the same thing right over here headed towards the top uh, the 50 moving average and then just absolutely collapsed technical indicators are really turning around macd is bullish the classic is bullish and the rsi is bullish as well so 50 moving average break about that then we are probably going to go higher however if we get rejected like we did like here uh, then we are probably going to drop back towards this very lows here at uh, 609 so hope you find this helpful you will support your channel by subscribing hit the like button button to see our new videos and good luck and thank you very much